Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would do a video that I have been seeing over the last month, I guess. Different people doing it. But anyway, it's, I don't know if it's a tag video or not. Of course, I wasn't ever tagged, but um, I thought it was interesting. So what it is, is products that I have hit pan on that are in my collection. So I thought, how interesting would that be to see um, from someone that has a massive beauty collection, makeup collection, what products I've actually hit pan on. So I went through most of my collection. I mean, some of the stuff I knew I haven't hit pan on, but I thought, well, let's see what I've got. I actually had a little bit more than what I thought. So, but then I had a category that I, I could have swore I had to hit pan in, in the, um, highlighter category but I couldn't find anything I hit hit pan on so anyway I thought well why not do it and be kind of fun and a little bit of a different kind of video to do other than hauling because <laughs> we all know I'm a hauler baller oh my god anyway so let's let's just dive in let's just quit talking and let's just start Okay, the first product that I have is an eyeshadow palette from IT Cosmetics, and I'm really not for sure which one this is, but I, if I'm not mistaken, this is probably one of the first eyeshadow palettes that IT Cosmetics came out with, and it's just in this really squishy um, palette here. I don't even know if you can even still get this, but I have... Um, have several eyeshadows in here that have definitely have some really good dippage in them but there is this one here that I have definitely hit pan on um, just barely um, you're not gonna be able to see it in the camera but I can see it because there's just a little bitty spot <laughs> it's not much of a pan but I hey by golly I can see it um, but basically it's just a um, flesh toned eyeshadow that I would have used all over the lid as a um, canvas type shadow to create a canvas on my eyelid for other shadows to go on to. And um, it cosmetic eyeshadows, if you've not used them before, this at one time, because I do have some dippage in it, was one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes to use just because it was so easy to blend and it's very user friendly plus someone that has some crepey eyelids due to age like myself the it cosmetic eyeshadows are really good with um easy to work with and they just create a really pretty look without being overpowering and, and too much so had a um pan in that one the next product that i had a pan in is a um, eyeshadow palette from Laura Mercier and this one let's see it has a little tag on here let me see if it says which one it is it does not it just says where it's made from or made in but anyway it's just one of the one of her eyeshadow palettes that she comes out with I think she comes out with one similar to this along the same lines as this pretty much every year during holiday but this one um, definitely have hit pan you can definitely see that and again that would be one of those type of shadows that I would have used all over the lid to create a canvas and that one is in the color vanilla nuts which I, I'm almost for certain that she puts that color in just about every um, eyeshadow palette that she does and I oh, I'm gonna wipe it on my legs I'm like I didn't bring a wipe of course not because I don't know how to do videos so I'm not prepared so anyway let me do a little swatch but that looks like that there a little bit more vibrant than the it cosmetics one I'll swatch it kind of right below it and I don't know if you'll be able to see maybe a little bit there but um, Definitely use this. I probably used more of the the purples here than any of the the beige or the neutral colors on top. I really like purples at one time. I had someone made a comment not too long ago in a video. I had some kind of a mauve eye look, you know, and how pretty the purples look on me. And I I will tell you at one time, at one point in time 
for a very long time, um, I would never ever wear anything but a lavender or a purple or a mauve eye. You would not, you would never ever see brown, beige, neutral, anything like that on me other than purple. I, that's what I was comfortable in. That's what I liked. But since YouTube, I have branched out and now I wear all colors of the spectrum pretty much. So, and speaking of the mauve neutral colors, um, this little palette or eyeshadow from Clinique. And um, this one I've had for a long time and I probably need to get rid of it, but it is in the color number 104, Crushed Plum. And this one definitely has <laughs> some major usage on that. And that was definitely at a time before I had 100 different eyeshadow palettes to use. Um, I got one shadow. I used it every single day. And that was that. There's that one there. And let me just swatch it on top of one of those colors that I would have used for a canvas but there's that just really soft and subtle and very pretty it was very work appropriate um, probably to when I was a district manager I probably wore this a lot during that time when traveling to different stores you're meeting with different store managers assistant managers um, you definitely don't want to be a little bit too flamboyant when you're trying to um, have a very professional um, demure about you so I would have used that during that time and then another eyeshadow and this one is from Bobbi Brown and it's in the color lavender and again um, some major um, some major pan there this one I may have even used this as an all-over eyelid color because it was so light but again um, you can definitely tell products I've had this this color for a while too but definitely products that I've had for a while before YouTube would have definitely used all that because I didn't have a whole lot all of my makeup fit in one little container that was about like this big by about like that I mean everything fit in that now I have big, I don't have the Alex and the nine Alex drawers, but I have something similar to that that my husband had made for me. So, and they're, they're not completely full, but they're pretty full. And if I wouldn't have done a, a big purge at the beginning of 2018, they, there would have been no room for anything else. But anyway, the next product that I have that I hit paint on is from this NARS palette. And this was the... I don't remember Guy Bourdain I can't I wanted to say Anthony Bourdain and that wasn't it anyway um, got this I don't know how long ago was this two years three years but anyway this palette I pretty much any time that we travel and we're going to be gone for an extensive amount of time like more than a night I will take this with me because it just has everything that I need. It has a bronzer, it has a highlight, it has blushes, and it has you know, a variety of blushes. But you can see here I have hit pan on the bronzer. And the bronzer is um, Laguna, which is NARS's um, probably their number one selling bronzer in that color in Laguna. I'm covering up the little pan, but I do have some pan on that, which I'm kind of sad about because once, I mean, if I empty that out, then that's going to kind of um, alter the integrity of this palette and the usefulness that it would be for me because I mean I could still take it I would just have to take a, a bronzer now whereas before you know it's gonna have everything which you know okay let's be real I have a long ways to go before it's completely gone but you know I was like when I seen pan on it I was like oh no I think I, I hit pan on it while we were in um, Vegas at the beginning of July for the fourth of July weekend Okay, the next product that I have that I've hit paint on is a single eyeshadow from MAC in the color Vanilla. And again, this is another one that I will have used or use as an all-over color for the lid. And I use this one. I probably use this one about a couple a couple times a week. And then the one that I use the rest of the time is this one here from Makeup Geek called White Lies. And I'm pretty sure that... Um, I'm surprised this hasn't hit pan on it. 
anyway but I have used this one quite a bit too and again it's just that creamy vanilla color again like the Laura Mercier vanilla nuts like the one from the it cosmetics palette yeah so I don't you're probably not gonna be able to see that so I have hit pan major panage on that and I just have that in this little palette there's a little um, makeup forever magnetic tin and I just have all different kinds of MAC and um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows in here. And a lot of times, if we're just going for an overnight trip, I'll just put this in my bag because it's got everything that I need to create an eye look. So I have that. And then I have this little guy from Wet n Wild. Do y'all remember this? Remember when everybody was talking about this because it came out and it was a dupe for the Marc Jacobs um, palette that looks like this. I don't remember what it's called and I just looked at it in my drawer because I could have swore I had hit pan on one of those colors in it, but I hadn't. But anyway, um, this is the Wet n Wild contouring palette in um, Duluth Duluth. Oh, do look. I can't say it. It means, I think it means chocolate. Doesn't this mean chocolate? Dulce de leche? Anyway, number 749A. I'm pretty sure you can still get this. When everybody was talking about it, you can hardly find them to save your life. But anyway, um, you know, you have this color here for contouring and then this color here which at the time everybody and their mother was using this color here for baking under the eyes um, to create the contour and everything um, which is what how i used it but i don't do any baking anymore um, i i just don't i probably should have today under my eyes i'll tell you what happened um, my husband and i decided this is pretty much today's saturday and this is pretty much our going to be our last weekend that we were going to be able to get away so we left yesterday evening and we went to Joplin Missouri and our plan was today to go to a bunch of antique stores in Joplin and then go to Springfield Missouri go to antique stores um, spend the night and then work our way back tomorrow but about the time that we got into Joplin yesterday evening which was about 7 p.m. One of his um, water plants, some of the workers at the water plant called him, so they're having problems. And anyway, we ended up this morning, we got to spend the night. We ended up staying, even though we probably should have left last night because he was awake all night worrying about it. But um, we went swimming. That was nice. Had a really nice little pool and oh, the water felt so good. We hadn't swam, got to go swimming at all this year. We got up this morning and ate breakfast there at the hotel and we were going to start, you know, going ahead and going to the antique stores. But he's like, you know, I really think I need to go back and help them fix that water leak. You know, it's a pretty big water leak. I, I'm the plant manager. I really need to be there. Even though it's his weekend off and wasn't like he was playing hooky from work. But anyway, I guess where I was going with that was we didn't decide to leave and do all this until yesterday evening like at four o'clock so I had like 30 minutes to throw a bag together and I went off and forget forgot just about everything that I needed one being a setting powder two being some under eye um, correcting products so this is what I put on this morning in the hotel room which is horrible to put makeup on in a hotel room anyway and he didn't sleep last night I didn't sleep last night um, I've been my arthritis and my hips have been flaring up the last few days and the bed last night just did not help me at all and I didn't sleep so I have some major circles <laughs> underneath today but I didn't have anything to put on there because I forgot everything and when I got home he dropped me off we got home about 10 o'clock this morning and um, I got my heat pad out, put it on my hip, and just laid on the recliner for about two hours and just took a nap because I was just exhausted and I had to take, and I hate doing this, but I had to take a pain pill because my hip was just hurting. It's probably about time to get a cortisone shot in my hip, but 
anyway so if i look tired that's that's why is because i didn't sleep and it was stressful anyway because you know when you go away you try you try to relax but you can't help but worry about you know if things are okay at home especially when you have different you know businesses and then he works outside of those businesses and anyway so anyway i say all that to say i probably should have pulled this out this morning or when I got home, I should have redone my makeup and did some correcting before I filmed. But this this is what I look like today. <laughs> it's just it is what it is. I can't help it. Okay, next product that I have hit pan on is this little guy from Sephora. It's the Sephora brand. It's an eye brow um, duo thing here. This right here is um, the wax. I never ever use the waxy things that are in these eyebrow things ever <laughs> in these eyebrow things you know what I'm talking about but the little eyeshadow or the eyebrow powder itself I have definitely hit pan on I haven't used this in a while um, usually when you get to that point where you're have used that much of a product you're kind of tired of it and then you go on to something else well then I had this from um, Le Metier de Beauté this was in a subscription service that I had done I think two years ago from this um, brand and this is an eyeshadow quad in Dovima Dovima I don't even know if it's something that they sell or not but it's a brow enhanced powder in Dovima and um, like I said, we traveled yesterday and I had hit pan. I had a lot of panage on this. Enough so that when we were traveling, I'll try not to spill it out. It completely broke up. And I just got this little bit left of powder right there. But I'm going to finish that because I really liked this color here for my brows. And I have a little bit of this color right here. Um, in the crease of my eyeshadow look today so have that so I'm going to keep this even though I probably won't use this color possibly for my eyebrows but I may go back to that Sephora one and finish that before I start using that one as my eyebrows but these two colors right here especially this camel looking color that's definitely too light but I can definitely use these two colors right here for eyeshadow anyway so that is it that is what i've hit pan on i possibly could be a good a good thing I, i'll be honest with you two of those things i probably hit pan on them years ago and haven't touched them since but they're just they're part of my collection they're they're part of me so they are they're staying there but anyway so let me know down in the comments what you have hit pan on and yeah, I guess that's the end. <laughs> I never know what to say at the end of the video other than thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.